Hey y'all, just some kayak catfish. I'm out on the river today and I'm getting set up to do some catfishing. Now today, I'm gonna be anchored down along this ledge here. I'm at about 56 feet of water. We've had kind of a warm spell these last couple weeks here this winter. It's February right now, but our water temps are 48 degrees. So I'm hoping to get some active fish today. Now I uh, stopped and got some bait on the way out through here. I hit a little pocket through the cast net. And I've got bottom of my kayak just full of threadfin shad. And they're not huge. They're, you know, four or five inch range. But I've got enough of them for a day's fishing. I'm just going to pack a bunch of them on a hook, cut some of them up, use some of them whole, just to kind of try a variety of baits and see if we can get on some fish. So let me get baited up. We'll see what we can do. All right, y'all. So there's the first bait. I've just taken some of those shad and I've rotated the headpiece and a midsection, just as many as I can pack on the hook. Got that on a Carolina rig with a two ounce sinker. I'm just going to drop it down to the bottom. I'm going to be suspend fishing today out here. The area of the river I'm fishing, I don't have a lot of current right now. And the wind's not blowing bad, but the light amount that I do have is going to blow the kayak around. So if I have my lines cast out, it's just going to be dragging my baits across the bottom. And so because of that, I'm just going to let it sink down directly under the kayak. And it'll hit here in a second. Like I said, I'm in 56 feet of water here, so it's going to take a second. But once it gets down there, I'll engage my reel, reel down to the water surface. There it hit. Reel down, lift straight up, and set it in my rod holder. So now my bait's about two feet off the bottom, directly under the kayak. My second rod, same setup. I'm going to drop it down. This last rod, I'm going to have four shad on there, which is some slits cut in them. We'll drop it down. See what that one will do for us. Right there now. We got one on. Man, he's pulling too. Mm, he's pulling. Buddy, he just hit it and was gone. Man, it almost feels like he's got me wrapped up in something. I think he does have me wrapped up in something. I don't know what it could be. There he comes. Felt him come loose from it. I don't see anything on my graph, but. Felt like he had me in a limb or something. It's coming up now though. Let me get this other camera here. Not a bad fish, y'all. Not a bad fish. This was on one of the rods that had the um, chunks of shaft cut up. Nice way to get the day started. in here now. There we go. <laughs> the pliers right there. Get that old hook out. Right. Let's hold him up here. There we go. Not bad, man, not bad. Like I said, he hit it like a daggone freight train when he first hit it, but it felt like he had me wrapped up in something down there. I don't know if he's a tree or a limb or something. I don't see it on my graph, but he, he had me hung up, but he come out of it. And we got him. <laughs> All right, let's let him go. See you, buddy. Oh, don't splash me. <laughs> All right, I got another bait rigged up there, just heads and body chunks. As many as I can pack on the hook. That's what that other fish hit, so we'll drop it down, see if we can get us another. Let's see what we got here. This one here, it's getting pecked at. Set that camera there, I'm gonna just reel down. He's on there. He was just sitting there with it. Just sitting there with it. <laughs> I felt him just tapping. He never made a run. 
It's a little blue. I thought it might be a flathead the way he was acting, but it wasn't. Alright guys, there he is. Just a little thing. I'm happy to get him. Actions, action as I always say. Right here y'all. Yeah, there he is. There's a fish on My rod tip was just kind of just barely dancing. All right, y'all, there we go. Another blue. Getting some action today. If nothing else, we're getting some action. Right here, y'all. Right there. Just slowly swimming with it. I felt the kayak moving. There he goes now. He's gonna pull a little bit. Piddling on my phone. I said, man, I'm moving. <laughs> Finally got some action here on that rod that was baited with the uh, hole shad with the slits cut in them. Thus far, the only action I've had has been on the pieces that I've had cut up. There we go, guys. Not bad. This side of him's clean. That side up there is covered in mud. We've got mud all over his belly. He's been down there, just near the bottom, on bottom, wallering in it. He come out and Got him about a shad. He just got the wrong ones. He got the ones with the hook in it. <laughs> Let's let him go. See you, buddy. Alright, guys, I got four shad on there again. Just hook them through the eyes there on the hook. I'm going to take these scissors and just kind of just kind of cut some slits in them there. You know, get them, ble get them bleeding a little bit. Drop them down. Go. There he is. He's on there. Yeah, he's on there. There he is. Let's see if we can let's see if we can take the sandwich back y'all. There it goes. <laughs> Had to cover the camera up been raining. I'll put the other, the second camera up completely, but I just put a sandwich bag over that front one. It's not been raining hard, but definitely enough I don't want the camera setting out in it. This one here hit. This one feels like it might be a decent fish. This is another one that ate the uh, shad that I had cut up and put on the hook. First hit it, I didn't think he was gonna be very big, but now he's pulling a little drain. There we go. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Don't you do it, don't you do it. There. That ain't a bad fish, y'all. Right there ain't a bad one. Oh, oh my god. Rod holder got in the way. <laughs> there we go. Let's see. Boy, he's an ornery thing. Well, heck for it. It's amateur hour in here. It's my first one, y'all. <laughs> there we go. Now I finally got hold of him. <laughs> Not a bad fish, man. Not a bad one. Worth sitting out here in the cold rain for, I'll tell you that. You know, it's about mid to high 40s out here, air temps, but that rain makes it feel a little colder. This thing talking to us. All right. Well, let's let him go and get that camera covered up. I'm going to sit here a while longer. All right. See you, buddy. Let 
Oh. <laughs> that one didn't want to let go. All right, guys, I'm going to fish a while longer, but I'm going to go ahead and do the closing on this video because my camera light that I use after dark, it's not waterproof, and this rain ain't going to let up. So I'm going to film this while i still got some daylight left. I've had a great day out here. You know, i got some fish and made the most of this time. This winter weather, it's always a crapshoot. You never know if you're going to have wind or rain or just bitter cold. But today was a pretty good day, and like I said, I made the most of it. Got some fish, had some fun. That's my goal every trip. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next